Hi guys and welcome to TechPaste. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 25,947. This build for the Canary channel has a few improvements, a few interesting things, and some fixes that were applied to certain issues that were documented in earlier builds. So if you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different Windows 11 Insider preview builds, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechPaste channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in this build voice access can now be used in OB. This was something discovered by Phantom Motion 3, so shout out to him. So basically inside the Windows 11 23 H2 installation, you will be able to enable voice access and you will pretty much be able to control some parts of the installation process. And also there are some more velocity features that are of course hidden inside the system that mention the September config update. This was also discovered by Phantom Motion 3. And if you want to see an in-depth view of those velocity features, you're going to have his Twitter link in the pinned comment below. And this basically just hints again that Windows 11 23H2 should be released in this month, the month of September. We also have an update for the Microsoft Store. So to get this latest update for the Microsoft Store, just go and open the Microsoft Store, go into the library and then click on get dates to get the latest updates for the Microsoft Store, of course. And this will basically add a new Game Pass page, which will allow you to explore and subscribe to PC Game Pass or PC Game Pass Ultima through the new dedicated page. Microsoft is also introducing a new paint app update, which will basically add a new function which will allow you to remove the background in an image which I think it's pretty interesting and pretty useful and this new feature uses machine learning and also an ONNX model if you want to see more about this you can check out Rafael Rivera's tweet that will be linked in the pinned comment below and basically this is the new function that you can use I'm just gonna load up an image here I have a picture of a dog and um, of course this image is pretty simple and I'm helping a lot paint with this but of course this is the first version of this new function and I think it's pretty useful and of course, you can select the region where you want the background to be removed. But in my case, I'll have the whole background in the whole image removed. And this is the new option, which basically says remove background. Click on it. It will load up a bit. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job. Of course, as I've said, this is a simple image, an image where it is very simple to remove the background. What is something that I'm looking forward to see from Microsoft regarding paint is the ability to create a transparent background inside your image. And of course, have layers because this will allow a lot of users to do a lot more stuff with paint. So for example, now I remove the background from this image, but if I go and save the file as PNG, the background will be white. It won't be transparent. So of course, for this new paint app update, just go in the Microsoft Store, check for updates, and you should receive it. And if you are in the Canary or Dev channels, you'll get it right away. In this build, we also have a few fixes, as I've said. Microsoft fixed the high-hitting CTF mon.exe crash in recent flights, which may have impacted the ability to type for some insiders. Fixed a few issues impacting Explorer.exe reliability, including fixing an issue which could cause File Explorer to crash when navigating getting to gallery, fix an issue which was causing Explorer.ac to not work in safe mode, did some work to help improve the performance when switching between different pages in Task Manager, and also fix the issue causing some insiders to see an unexpected pop-up asking you to select an app to open this MS screen clip link after the latest snipping tool update. And also, there is a known issue in this update. Some popular games may not work correctly on the most recent insider preview builds in the Canary channel. And of course, if you're using the UWR computer for gaming, you should not use insider preview builds as your main operating system. So this is basically the build for the Canary channel, build 25947. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.